I understand how difficult this may be, but we have no choice. We have to force them out. I bid thee farewell. I'll see thee soon. Are you really returning to France? I believe it's so. <laughs> the memory be green and that it us be fitted to bear our hearts in grief and our whole kingdom. You cannot speak reason to a Dane and lose your voice, Laertes. My dear lord, your leave and favor to return to France, from whence I willingly came to Denmark. To show my duty in your coronation, I must confess that duty done, my thoughts and wishes bend again towards France. What say Polonius? My lord. Pick thy fair hour, Laertes, and thy best grace then in thy Good Hamlet, cast thy knight to cut off, and let thine eyes look like a prince on Denmark. Thou knowest his comment, all the lips must die, passing through nature to eternity. Ay, madam, tis common. If it be, why seems it so particular with thee? Tis not alone, my inky coat, good mother. <sighs> Nor customary suits of solemn black. The sweet and commendable in the nature of Hamlet, to give these morn morning duties to your father, as any of the most vulgar things to sense. For your intent in going back to school, bend you to remain. Our chiefest courtier, cousin, and our son. Let not her mother lose her prayers, Hamlet. I pray thee, stay with us. I shall in all my best obey you, madam. This gentle and unforced accord of Hamlet sits smiling to my heart. Come away.
that it should come to this. So excellent a king that was for this Hyperion to a satyr. Heaven and earth within a month, married to my uncle, my father's brother, but no more like my father than I to Hercules. Within a month she married. Almost wicked speed, it is not nor shall come to good. Mark me, my hour is almost come when I, to stop this tormenting flame, must render up myself. Alas, poor ghost. Pity me not, but lend my serious hearing to what I shall unfold. Speak, I am bound to hear. So art thou to revenge when thou shalt hear. I and thy father spirit, but I am forbid to tell the secrets of my prison house. If thou didst thy dear father ever love, revenge his foul and most unnatural murder. Murder? Murder most foul as it is best, but this most foul, strange and unnatural. Haste me to know it, that I may sweep to my revenge. Now, Hamlet, dear, it is given out that sweeping in my orchard, the serpent stung me, but no, thou noble youth, the serpent that can sting my father with life now wears his crown. Uncle! I had the petulous son of Prince with witchcraft of his wit with the treacherous gift, one to his shameful lust, the will of my most leaning virtuous queen. Oh, Hamlet, what a falling out there was. Brief let me be, sleeping within my orchard, upon my secure hour thy uncle's soul, juice of cursed heaven on the vial, and the porches of my ears did pour the leprous fulfillment. Thus was I sleeping by a brother's hand, cut off even in the bottoms of my sin, with all my imperfections on my head. Oh, horrible, oh, horrible, most oh, horrible. Adieu, adieu, Hamlet, remember me. From the table of my memory, I'll wipe away all that youth and observation copied there. And that commandment alone will live in the books and volumes of my memory. I have sworn it. My necessaries are embarked. Farewell. But let me hear from you. Do you doubt that? For Hamlet, holding in a fashion, a toy in blood, a violet in the youth of primy nature. Forward, not permanent. Sweet, not lasting. The perfume and supplements of a minute. No more. No more but so. Perhaps he loves you now, for his will is not his own. I shall the effect of this good lesson keep. But good, my brother, do not as some ungracious pastors do. Show me the steep and thorny way to heaven, while I puff in reckless libertine. He himself is his, the primrose path of dalliance treads, and wrecks not his own reed. Oh, fear me not. I stay too long. But here my father comes. Yet here, board of board for shame, thou canst not be false to any man. Trouble my blessings, season this and thee. Most humbly I do take my leave, my lord. The time invites you, your servants tend. Farewell, Ophelia, and remember well what I said to you. Tis my memory locked, and you yourself shall keep the key to it. What is it, Ophelia? He hath said to you. So please you, something touching the Lord Hamlet. Mary will be fought. What is it between you? 
give up the truth. He hath, my lord of late, made many affections of his tender and sordid fingers. Affection? Pooh, you speak like a green girl, unsifted in such perilous circumstance. Do you believe his tenders, as you call them? I do not know, my lord, what I should think. Mary, I'll teach you. Think yourself a baby. Tend to yourself more clearly, or not, to, tr to crack the wind of the poor phrase. Running it thus, you'll tender me a fool. My lord, he hath importuned me with love in an honorable fashion. Aye, fashion you may call it, go to, go to. And hath given countenance of his speech, my lord, with almost all the holy vows of heaven. Aye, springs to catch woodcocks, for lord Hamlet believes so much in him that he is young. Ophelia, do not believe his vows, for they are brokers. This is for all. I would not, in plain terms, for this time forth, as to give words, or talk with the Lord Hamlet? Aye, my lord, I shall obey. Devil wear black. I have a suit of sables. Begin, murderer. The croaking raven doth bellow for revenge. Thoughts black, hands apt. In time agree. <laughs> no creature see. You shall see the murderer. by false fire. How bears, my lord? Give over the plate. Mother, what's the matter? Hamlet, thou hast thy father much offended. No, mother, you have my father much offended. Come, come, you answer with an idle tongue. Go, go. You question with a wicked tongue. Why, how now, Hamlet? What's the matter now? Have you forgot me? No, by the root, not so. You are the queen, your husband's brother's wife, and would it be not so, you are my mother. You who can speak. Come, come. Sit you down. You shall not budge. What wilt thou do? If thou wilt not murder me, help, help, help! What ho, help, help, help! Now, a rat dead for a diet. Dead. Oh, me, what hast thou done? Nay, I know not. Oh, what a rash and bloody deed is this! Almost as bad, good mother. Let's kill a king and marry with his brother. As kill a king? Aye. 
Twist my words. What have I done that thou darest wag thy tongue and noise so rude against me? A murder? Dylan. No more! Pardon, sir, I have done you wrong. Was Hamlet wronged Laertes? Never Hamlet. Hamlet denies it. Who does it then? His madness? If it be so, then he is of the faction that is wronged. His madness is poor Hamlet's enemy. In my revenge, and no terms of honor, I was aloof, but with no reconcilement. I embrace it freely. You mock me, sir! Come on, sir. Come, my lord. Our son shall win. He's fine skin to breath. Hamlet! Good madame. Don't you! Do not. I will, my lord. I pray you, forgive me. It is too late. Nay! Have at you now. I am justly killed by mine own treachery. Here, Hamlet, I can no more. The king, the king is to blame. No, no, my sweet Hamlet. Oh, felony. Treachery. No incestuous, murderous, damn dirty. <laughs>
tell my story, Horatio. Oh, I die. Now cracks a noble heart. Good night, sweet prince. And let the flight of angels sing me to thy rest. I have to call this in. Not from his mouth had it the ability of life to thank you. He never gave commandment for their death, but since, so jump upon this bloody question. You from the Polak Wars, and you from England, are here arrived to give order that these bodies, high on a stage, be placed to view. And let me speak to the yet unknowing world how these things came about, so shall you hear. Of carnal, bloody, and unnatural acts, of accidental judgments, casual slaughters, of deaths put on by cunning and forced cause, and in this upshot, purposes mistook, fallen on the inventors, reads, all this can I truly deliver. Of that I shall have also cause to speak, and from his mouth his voice will draw on warm. But let this same be presently performed, even while men's minds are wild, lest more mischance. On plots and errors happen. I will now be taking questions. 